Good evening, Kingdom Citizens. Good evening, Glory Carriers. Good evening, Atmosphere Changers. Good evening, people of God, and welcome. Welcome to Love to Life Online Talk Show International Pop-Up. I'm telling you, people of God, I have a mighty man of God that's going to be on here this evening. Um, he's a powerhouse. He's a man of prayer. I'm telling you, people of God, you don't want to miss out on this great man of God that's coming forth this evening. I'm telling you, we have Pastor Jim Andrew. Woo, I'm telling you, powerhouse, powerhouse, powerhouse. Yes, we do. We have him on here this evening. But before I bring the man of God forth, let's open up with a quick prayer. Father, we praise you, we worship you, we glorify you, oh God. We exalt your name on high this evening, oh God. Father, we pray, God, that you rain down on us tonight, God, that you smear us tonight, God, with fresh oil, God, with new glory, God. In the name of Jesus, God, have your way on this broadcast, God. Anoint your servant on tonight, God. Anoint the man of God. My God, your bow shunned it up, God. Anoint them, oh God, fresh oil, oh God, in the name of Jesus, God. Anoint his mouth, oh God, with calls from heaven, Father. For when he speak, God, let him speak with power and authority even more, God. Oh my God, you bitch. Have your way this evening, God. Have your way, God. Have your way, God. Oh yes, God, Yabashi. And we be careful, oh God, to give you all the glory and honor and praise in jesus name amen 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 i'm telling you people of god we are in for a treat this evening we have pastor jim andrew on here pastor jim andrew i would like to say thank you for consenting to coming on love to life online talk show pop up this evening Amen. Amen. Love to Life Talk Show is a place to be right now. <laughs> <laughs> amen. 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 Listen, man of God, tell us, who is this great man of God? Who is Pastor Jim Andrew? Who is amen. the peace of the Lord? Who is he? Amen. Prophetess, it is a privilege and it's an honor to be here on this platform. Amen. Amen. The Lord God says that he will make his minister swords of flaming fire. Yes. Yes. And yes. I am Pastor Jim Andrew from yes. the island of from the island of Grenada. Yes. The spice of the Caribbean. 132 square miles. It's a beautiful island. I uh, I love the Lord. I've been serving God over 20 years now. Ooh, thank you, Jesus. 20 years now and my coming to the Lord was miraculous. Mm -hmm. Yes, very miraculous. I got an invitation to a church, not knowing that the Lord was really setting me up. And the prophet of God made an announcement and he said, you young man at the back, you need to come forward. Amen. He called me forward and the Lord says, before you today is life and death, choose one. Ooh, Jesus. And moment of God, I'm telling you, the Bible said that he that has life had life. Yeah. He that have Christ had life. And he that does not have Christ do not have life. And I chose life. My God. Thank you. Jesus. And here am I today. Thank serving you. God. Along with my beautiful wife, Minister Ruth Lynn Andrew, a powerhouse. Yes. Who oh, I love glory dearly. to Jesus. Who I love dearly. <laughs> yes. So we both, we both have a ministry. Ordained and anointed by God. Goes by the name of Global Impact Christ and Counter Ministry. Yes. Myself and my wife, Minister Ruflin Andrew. Amen. Have been mandated by God to bless and encourage and empower the body of Christ globally. Amen. Yes. We have that global man mandate on our lives. The role of the ministry is to empower and equip believers to actively fulfill the mandate of Jesus Christ as outlined in Acts chapter 1 and verse 8. To be witnesses unto the uttermost parts of the earth and demonstrate the power of God through prayer, worship, and deliverance. We are about creating 
atmosphere for the presence of God to move and for the glory of God to habit it. Hallelujah. We, we as a ministry, we want when people come in contact with us, they have an encounter with Jesus. We want that when they come in the presence of the ministry, they don't leave the same way they come. They got to leave, transform it, transform in the presence of God. And so we had our first outdoor meeting on August the 1st. Oh, glory to Jesus. I said, I'm telling you, they said it was my emancipation day in Grenada, but it was emancipation day indeed because lives were changed, prophetess. Lives were emancipated. Lives were freed on the 1st of August. My God, people are even... They're testifying women of God of how God touched and delivered them in that service. Yes. Oh, glory to Jesus. There were deliverance. There were people who were bringing up stuff. My God, as the power of God moved through the service. They indeed had a divine encounter with God in our first service. And we believe in God for greater things. We believe in God for things in the supernatural as we forge ahead. Oh, our second service. My God is coming up on September 5th. We believe in God for greater and mightier things. My God. Oh, glory to Jesus. My God. Glory to Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm, I'm getting excited right now, prophetess. I'm getting excited as well, too, man of God. But listen, man of God, listen. Tell us, tell the kingdom citizens and the glory carriers what the Father's been speaking to you about. What have you heard in the throne room? Do oh, share praise with God. Us. Share praise with God. Us. Praise God. Praise God. You know, prophetess, earlier on this year, the Lord spoke to my wife and I, and he said that this will be the acceptable year of the Lord, you know, and I told my wife, I said, this is the word of God. This will be the acceptable year of the Lord. And then God began to unfold different things regarding the ministry. We begin to see open doors. We begin to see opportunities come. We begin to see, to, to see opportunities and connection that we never had before prophetess as you are witnessing today Amen. and so we know that god was confirming his word to us that it was going to be the acceptable year despite of the pandemic despite of the challenges that this global pandemic pandemic came with it was an opportunity to birth our ministry global impact christ encounter mm. Amen. And so it is indeed a season of divine favor. And so because the Lord told us that it was the acceptable year of the Lord, it divinely led to favor, woman of God. Wow, Jesus. It divinely led to a place where God designated and designed an opportunity to, for us to have and move with him. And when I speak of a Moab, I'm speaking about a divine appointment. So many a times as believers, we miss our Moab. We miss our divine appointment, woman of God. It's like when we look at it in the natural, it's like you're going to the doctor. As some of us, or maybe every one of us at times have an appointment with the doctor. We try not to miss that appointment. Because it may be a situation of life and death. Thank you. Likewise, I believe that it is time that the church arise and grab a hold and embrace and hold fast the profession of our faith. Hold fast to that Moab, to that divine appointment that the Lord is sending your way. And that is what he did for Minister Ruflin and I, as we forge ahead victoriously in ministry, we were able to embrace that Moab. We were able to embrace that divine appointment. Mm -hmm. Recognizing and realizing that God is a God of times and seasons. Yes. And we cannot, 
And I, 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 I emphasize here as the body of Christ, as children of God, we cannot afford to miss our divine appointment. Because it is, the, it is the setup of God that will catapult us to another level. To that place that we have been praying and we have been fasting. And we have been believing God to enter in. Amen. Thank oh, you. glory to Jesus. Glory to God. And so because he is a time, he's a God of times and season. We read of an account in First Chronicles 12 and verse 32. We read of the tribe of Ezekiel, the Bible said, that they, they understood the times and season that they, are, that they were in. Yes. They know what to do. They know what to do in every season. And so the Bible said that they, they, they had an anointing, woman of God. They possessed a unique anointing to discern and, and, and understand the times and seasons they were living in, to influence and lead Israel to a place of victory. Yes, thank you, Jesus. And that is what God is saying to us this evening, woman of God, on this platform, that the kingdom of the Lord God has come. And then when we, by, by embracing that Moab and that different appointment, mm -hmm. Then we can we can hold fast, my God. My we can pour that that which He has in store for us. So God is building a dynasty in His kingdom. He is building a dynasty that He wants for oh, His children, those that has been called out, the remnants, to enter into a place, my God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Abo, stay behind. Yes. So that when we enter in, we will be fully planted and be rooted and we will do exploit. He's building a kingdom. Hallelujah. He said that that kingdom does not come by observation. That's right. I mean, there were so many things that we would have seen in 2020 into 2021. Mm -hmm. concerning that COVID-19 pandemic. Yes. And we could not have focused on that. We could not have focused on the threat that he brought, the insecurity. We have to focus on building the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. The king's domain. The kingdom is where the king's domain lies, where he resides. Prophetess, woman of God, those of us that are here are on the platform. So, that is our duty, is to build that kingdom, build that fortified place. Let it become solidified. And so he said, because the kingdom of God does not come by what we see, we, don't, we do not discern it by the five senses, our smelling, touching, and feeling and hearing. But the kingdom of God is within us. Oh, Jesus. Mm. The kingdom of God is within us. That is why he said, he no longer dwell in temples made by hands. Because he expects us as children of God to possess a dimension of the kingdom of the living God that the world will see and they will take notice. Amen. And they will be drawn by the holy conversation of the children of the Most High God. Mm. Daniel spoke of that kingdom. Daniel spoke of it in, in chapter 2 and verse 44. He said, I, he said, God, he said, God is going to establish a kingdom after mm. the 10 kings reign. Mm. He will establish a kingdom that will destroy every other kingdom. Wow, my mama shake. So now we we've seen the power of the kingdom. We've seen the influence that that kingdom can have. I don't care what it is that is happening in our world today. God says that he's going to establish a kingdom that will destroy every other kingdom, every other man-made kingdom, everything that is seeking to gain dominance, everything that is seeking to gain supremacy, everything that is seeking to go above the knowledge of God, every imagination he's going to take captive. He's going to bring every spirit to the obedience of him. The Ooh. Lord of Lords, the King of Kings. Thank you. God. Because he said that he will establish a kingdom 
that will destroy and discomfit every other man-made kingdom. My God. No earthly king, no earthly king presidents can come and, and in the face of God. No, God rules reign. He, he, is, he is supreme. He, he reigns eternal. <laughs> and he, he holds that kingdom in his hands. So God is indeed interested mm -hmm. in, in, in the holistic nature of humanity. He is interested. And so he told us of that, of that building. Yes, because we are, we are mandated to build that kingdom. Because we are mandated to build a, a, not an edifice, not, not a wall structure, but the thing that, that, that God placed on the inside of us. He said that I will give you the spirit of Ephraim. Mm. The double footed one. Yes, it will be a season where you will be building and you will also be warring in the spirit. Yes, yes. It takes a building in the spirit and it also takes a warring in the spirit. He said that he that is born of the flesh is flesh. But that which is born of spirit is spirit. I'm going to tell somebody tonight that we cannot do absolutely nothing we are the spirit of the living God. We have to embrace the spirit of God as never before. We yes, have right. to embrace the truth of the living God. Yes. The spirit of God must, must dwell in us richly. It is the same spirit that raised Jesus Christ from the dead, lives and dwells in our mortal being. And that same spirit has come to quicken our mortal being. Thank you. Jesus. So that spirit got to come upon us. We cannot be comfortable and be satisfied as a people, as a church, the one who he calls the ecclesia, the colored one, and settle for just an ankle deep anointing. Mm. We have to push past just from that ankle, from that knee height and that waist height. And we, we, we got to swim into that river because he said, all of our bellies shall flow rivers of living water. That's and true. that is the river. That is the water that he wants to give us. That is the water he wants to give us to quench our thirsty soul. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So that we can influence the world. We can be glory carriers. We can be heaven shakers. We can be atmosphere shifters. We can be game changers. Oh, glory Hallelujah. to Jesus. And so God, My God, we say, let your spirit Come upon us. We're going to break every chain. We're going to break every wall of partition. We're going to lose men and women on this platform tonight because I believe that the power of God is here. Yes, God. Okay. The Spirit of the Lord is invading our platform this evening. Yes. Oh, glory yes. to Jesus. Thank you. Hey, my God, he is invading our lives. He's touching us in the deepest part. I don't care what it is. You're going through an illness. I don't care what manner of sickness it is. I don't care what it is. You, The report of the doctor may say, Jesus is here. He is here to touch. He is here to make whole. He is here to bring you back to the place where you once were. Oh, glory to Jesus. And so, Lord, we break the chains. We break the curses of the enemy. Oh, glory to Jesus. The word of God declares that the curse causeless cannot be settled. Woman of God. And as children of God, we cannot go wrong looking defeated. We have to know that we are favored in every season. And here I'm coming to the gist of the, of the matter tonight. Hallelujah. Yes. He said, this is the set time for the children of Zion to be favored. Ooh, glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And even as you were on this morning, woman of God, I, I was on the job, you know, <laughs> man in the borders. And the Lord said, go in. The woman of God is on. You got to connect. And I said, this is the season. And you begin to prophesy. You begin to say, it's an overflow. You begin to say, oh, the walls are going to bust. 
And woman of God, I'm telling you, I, I felt a transformation. I felt a quickening. I felt, oh, glory to Jesus. Thank you, God. Because there is no one word from the prophet's mouth shall fall to the ground. Thank you, God. And so I was able to connect with that word. Yeah. And I said, this is the set time. The Lord said, my son, this is the set time to favor Zion. The word of God said, believe a prophet and you shall prosper. Yeah. Yeah. And woman of God, I must say to God, be the glory. Since we would have come in contact with your ministry, Ruthie and I, our ministry has gone to another level. My God. Our ministry has been taking heights. Yeah. Our ministry has been taking dimensions that we never thought of. Mm. That is why we come. That is when you come in contact with a prophet of God. The Bible said that El Deborah arose as a judge, as a mighty prophetess in Israel. Oh, mm. glory to Jesus. Thank you. Ah, Kabo, stay thank you. Thank you. My God, my God. And so we thank God. You know, he's, he, we, 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 we read of, of, of men, men of God who, who, who get, came in divine favor with God. Nehemiah, oh, who was an Israelite, he was an official sovereign in the Persian government. Yes. When he heard about the ruined state of the walls of Jerusalem, he prayed and got permission from the king to rebuild those walls, recognizing that he already had favor with the king. Sometimes we, we have favor and we don't even know. We just have to set an appointment. We yes. just have to set that moab. Say, God, where is the meeting place? You just tell me and I will show up. And so Nehemiah, who was the king Scobbera, he went before that king, the king of Ataxes, the Bible says. Then the king asked Nehemiah, why are you so sad, Nehemiah? He said, you are not sick. This is nothing but sorrow of heart. Nehemiah was broken before God. Nehemiah had something on his heart. Oh, glory to Jesus. You see, favor and fear, you know. But God, when he decides to favor you, he does it exclusively. He does it, woman of God, without any strings attached. He does it unquestionable because he determined to favor you and no man can stop it. And so Nehemiah came and he responded to the king. He said, I am of a sad countenance because the city, the places of my father's sepulchre lies in waste. And it's 45 gates, woman of God, are consumed by fire. Oh, Jesus. There are some things that have been consumed by fire in your life. Somebody who is on this platform. Mm -hmm. The Lord is saying that he's about to give you favor. Yeah. As he did with Nehemiah, who was the king's cup bearer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So the king asked him, what do you request, Nehemiah? What do you want? And God, the spirit of God, even right now, is asking us, what, are our, what is our request? Make it known unto me today. He said, if you ask for a bread, I would not give you a stone. If you ask for a, uh, a fish, you would not get a serpent. Because he knows how to give. He knows how to give good gifts unto his children. He knows how to favor his children in times of adversity, in times when the chips are down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so he asked Nehemiah, what do you want me to do for you? And Nehemiah made his request known unto the king of Ataxes. He said, if I may just give him the permission to rebuild the walls that has been laying waste. Wow. Some walls have been lying waste, woman of God. Some, li some lives have been lying waste. The Lord is raising up a banner of righteousness. He is raising up a people that will bring back dead things to life. The yes. thing that has become rigamortized, the thing that has become ostracized and been cast away, the Lord God is going to cause there to be a rekindling of the fire. Yes. Oh, glory to Jesus. Thank you. So it is time that the church arise. As a people, we got to arise. In the name of Jesus. And do what God really us to do in the earth. And so he said unto the king. If it please the king. Let letter of safe passage be given unto me. So we see here that Nehemiah. Because of the favor that was granted to him by the king. He got divine passage. He got safe passage. Mm -hmm. And I decree and I declare. Because of your connection with the king of kings and the lord of lords. You will get letters of safe passage. 
You would not only get letters of safe passage, Thank but you, you would too. also get letters of provision. This yes, is the yes. season where you got to be favored from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. Yes. Someone right there, the Lord is going to make you. He's going to take you from zero and make you a hero. Thank you, God. He is going to take the insignificant thing, the thing that is not significant in the eyes of man and make it significant. He's about to take you from the back and push you into the front. Glory to Jesus. Mm -mm. Thank you. And so letters of safe passage. When letters of safe passage is given, woman of God, there is absolutely no struggle. You did not no hear me? Struggle. No struggle. Ah, my God. It is a moment to rejoice yes. it is a moment to go forth and grab a hold of everything Thank you. that you wanted Amen. glory to jesus and so god nehemiah came in great 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 favor with that king and so likewise he's saying that there have they are great favor awaiting you my children you my daughter you my son okay. oh glory to jesus hallelujah and so we got to believe god we got to trust in God. We, we got to know that is the season of divine favor. It is the season where he is bringing you out from your places of desolation, your places of ruins, your places of, of hurt and pain, your places, my God, when everyone rejected you, when everyone said there is no help for him or her in God. But the psalmist David said, but thou, O Lord, art a shield for me, mm. the glory and the lift of my head. Yeah, so this is a season he's lifting our heads. This is a season where he's causing us to, to transcend into another dimension. He's causing us to come into that other, into that divine other. Ah, my God, the woman of God. But so many times when favor come upon our lives, yes. we have the Sambalats and the Tobias and the Goshemites who seek to stand in the way of favor. Yes. But we decree and we declare, let fire, to, let fire come upon our, the Sambalats and the Tobias. Yes. Those that have come, those that are seeking to stand in every way to oppose that which you're doing. God is going to bring them to naught. He's going to bring them, eh, he's going to destroy every plan that they have been planning. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Because we are doing a good work. And we're not going to come down from that wall. We're going to continue to build that wall. Nehemiah got so much favor. <laughs> hey, glory to God. There were armed soldiers. There were armies sent on his behalf. Timba, he got provision. He got so many things. Because favor already stems provision. My God. And so somebody, favor has already changed provision for you. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, woman of God. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory. I'm telling Praise you, God. Man, God, this is so awesome. This is so awesome. You know, this is going to be the year that God favor his people. This is going to be the year that God opened doors that's never been opened before. I'm telling you, the people of God, we're going to have uncommon favor. We're going to have unlimited favor i'm telling you oh, god yes. has, is is favoring his people i'm telling you people of god we got to get ready we got to get ready for what god is about to do for us i'm telling you he done already spoke this morning and said prepare for the overflow so people of god you got to prepare yourself prepare yourself for the overflow that mean the blessings of the lord that mean the favor of god hallelujah glory to god i am excited Pastor Jim, I am excited about this word that you have released on the night to the people of God because we, the kingdom citizens, we needed to hear that. We needed to hear that. Hallelujah. My God, Amen. My God, my God. Hallelujah. And you know what, Pastor Jim, you said something that it really struck to me. You called us heaven shakers. I said, okay, <laughs> I like that. Heaven shakers. Hallelujah. Kingdom citizens, atmosphere changes, glory carriers, and now we are heaven shakers. I'm telling Amen. you, people of God, I love that. I love that. Pastor Tim, I'm telling you, when I met you, well, when I first seen you, 
um, you was on Pastor Abby, I'm mean, an Abby Israel platform, and you was praying. And I looked at you and I said, oh my God, I said, this man has a prayer life. His prayer is reaching heaven, you know? And then I said, oh, I got to connect with this man of God. So I went on Facebook and I searched you out. And while I was on your page, I was looking at your page. I seen this woman of God going forth with power and authority. I said, well, who is this woman of God? And so I looked at the name. I said, Ruthland Andrew. I said, that must be his wife. I said, you know what? I'm going to reach out to him and I'm going to reach out to his wife. But I'm going to reach out to his wife first, you know. So I reached out to the woman of God and her and I, we connected. Powerhouse. I'm telling you, people of God, don't sleep on Minister Ruthland Andrew. Power, powerhouse of the Lord. Mouthpiece of God. And so I connected with her and then I connected with her husband. And I'm telling you, ever since I done seen, I mean, met these two, they just been a blessing to me. I love speaking to them because every time I speak to them, my baby begins to leap in my belly. So I'm like, okay, God, okay. The connection is there. I'm telling you, people of God, this man of God, Pastor Jim Andrew, he have a prayer life. So I'm telling you right now, if you want Pastor Jim to pray for you, hallelujah, glory to God. If you want the man of God to touch and agree with you, just say something in the comment and I will highlight your name and the man of God will see your name and the man of God will pray for you hallelujah I'm telling you this man he I mean he is a true man of prayer he is in the throne room he believe in dwelling in the secret place because he know in the secret place the supernatural happens I'm telling you people of God if you would like prayer on tonight hallelujah glory to God just say something in the comments and pastor jim will pray for you i'm telling you if you need healing deliverance restoration the man of god will touch and agree with you hallelujah glory to god glory to god he will release from what he heard in the throne room to speak to you hallelujah i'm telling you people of god i love this man of god this man of god has power and authority hallelujah glory to god thank you god thank you god pastor jim i want to say thank you so much um the people of god is i'm um, sending up hearts and um you know what man of god if you like to say anything else before they like um send the comments and listen people of god share this broadcast share this broadcast with your family and friends someone that need a prayer hallelujah glory to god need healing need deliverance tell them to jump on this broadcast so the man of god can pray down heaven hallelujah glory to god let them bombard heaven on your behalf hallelujah glory to god glory to god so people of god if you want prayer on tonight hallelujah glory to god hey, hallelujah hallelujah yes. reach out tonight. glory to god hallelujah glory to oh, god glory to jesus. yes my god hallelujah glory to god hallelujah glory to god god have yes. your way on tonight yes. god. Have your God. way on tonight, oh God. My God, yes. yes. my God, hallelujah. Yes, Linda Williams, hallelujah. God is the season where God is restoring, is a season where God is restoring everything that has been stolen, everything that has been taken. By the enemy, God is restoring everything. And so you, this is a season where you, your, 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 your ass got to be in the mouth of God. Amen? Amen. Because there are some things that he's going to speak to you specifically. You got to continue to keep your mouth, in your ass in the mouth of God. Because every season he speaks, every season he, he desired to favor Every season he decided to show himself strong on your behalf. 
But because, as I, as I said, as the Spirit of God was saying that because we, we don't understand our Moab, we don't understand our divine appointment, we eventually, we missed it. Mm. But when we come and we learn to discern as the children, as the son, as a tribe of easy car, then we can hear the, the, the voice of God. We can hear the voice of God saying, this is the way, walk he therein. And the words that he speak is life and light. Oh, glory to Jesus. Mm -hmm. So you just keep your... Your ears in the mouth of God and let God speak to you. Let him direct your path, your step. And your life will never be the same. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory Praise to God. God. You know, woman of God, this is indeed the season of restoration. You know, the Lord has been speaking restoration to Minister Ruflin and I and there is no doubt at this point in time. And he's reminding us of the, the month of September, which will be our next movement, our next move of God in the, on the island of Grenada. And globally, you know, he's speaking to us as the month, the ninth month. And when we look at the significance of nine, it means the birth, birthing month, the give birth. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, and... The Bible said that many of our many of the children of Zion comes to to the birth, but they do not have strength to bring forth that Ooh, baby. Jesus. And this is what is happening today in the midst of God desiring to favor so many mm -hmm. because we we do not have the strength to bring forth that baby. That's right. Then the baby is left abandoned to die, mm -hmm. but. I got a word for somebody that the God is bringing spiritual midwives to you. Oh, Jesus! Yes, he Lord. is going to raise up Ooh. spiritual midwives for you to bring forth that baby, to, to stand in proxy so that baby can come forth. That anointing, that powerhouse that he has made you to be, that conqueror. That deliverer that he has called you to be. That, 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 that deliverer that he said you are. He's going to set up midwives to add to the strength so that baby can come forth. My God. So we, God. we, we, we expecting, we're going forth into the month of September, which is our next service, which is next month, with expectation. Because we've come to understand that it is the breathing ground for all miracles. Yes. He said, the children that he has given, woman of God, are for signs, wonders, and miracles. He yes. said, these signs shall follow them that believe. They shall speak with new tongues. They shall drink poison and they shall not die. They shall be beaten with snake and they shall not die. Yes. Because he said, these are the signs that shall follow them that believe. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Man of God, you know what? I got to enter, um, enter the race. Um, when I be praying in the morning, I'm always saying, God, strengthen your people. Give them strength to travail even the more, God. Give them strength to birth um, their, uh, uh, birth their destiny and purpose, oh God. Give them strength to bring forth, oh God. God, raise up the midwives. And the Lord dealt with me. He said, where are the midwives? He said, the midwives need to be on post to help to help the people to bring forth their destiny and their purpose, to help to birth the souls into the kingdom. Oh Amen. my God, man of God. He said, Amen. and God has just said, confirmed. God just said that he's raising up the midwives. My God, my God. I'm sorry. Hallelujah. Yes. Thank Glory. You, Jesus. Thank you, Praise Jesus. God. Hallelujah. Praise Glory to Hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to because God. Guess what? People is walking around pregnant and it's time for them to deliver. Oh, it's yes. It's time for them to deliver. And they don't know how to deliver. You know, like, oh. oh, my God. They need help. They need a midwife to help and guide them through it. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And I thank God for you, man of God. You done touched on something. Woo. 
Hallelujah. The importance of a midwife. Hallelujah. Mm. Yes. The importance of a midwife. Hallelujah. Oh my God. My Glory. God. Oh my God. And you Praise can birth God. it in prayer. Just have yes. a prayer life. Just have a yes. prayer life and birth it. Birth it through prayer. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, man of God, God is really doing it. God is really doing it. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Jesus. Praise God. Barbara, amen. Hallelujah. Ha, my God. Yes, you, you, this is such, you are a faithful woman of God. You, the Bible said that faithfulness honors God and God honors faithfulness. Amen. I'm seeing that he's bringing into, a, into you a greater season of, of, of yieldingness to him because he wants to do so much of great things in you. He wants to, my God, shift your position. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He wants to bring you to a place of, of more than enough. And so because of your faithfulness, uh, when I saw the name pop up, I saw faithfulness. Jesus. He, I saw faithfulness. I saw that you are someone that, that you, you love God. And you will do anything to see his glory show forth mm -hmm. in the life of his kingdom. And so God saying, just stay put, woman of God. Stay strong in the Lord and in his power, his might. The Lord is, is expanding your borders because of your faithfulness. He is enlarging in your territories, even as Jabez prayed that prayer. Mm -hmm. Yes, he's, he's going to do great things. As I said from the beginning, it is the acceptable year of the Lord. Mm -hmm. And he's saying to you, Barbara Howard, it is the acceptable year of the Lord to see your miracles, to see your signs wonders. He's going to take you from place to place. Hallelujah. He's going to, he, he's going to take you from place to place. He's, he's going to shift your position because of your faithfulness. And sometimes, sometimes geography matters, woman of God. Yes. Permit me to say that geography matters. And sometimes our provision is in a relocation. Mm. You know, sometimes until we have been relocated, mm -hmm. there comes a time when, when the Lord had to tell um, Jacob to leave, leave his, his father-in-law's house. Mm -hmm. because God didn't want anyone to take the glory in his life. God wanted to, wanted to bless him all by himself. Yes. Yes. And so I thank God for you, Lorraine Rogers. Yes, she I, says she liked prayer. I like prayer, Lorraine Rogers. Okay. Is there anything that she wants me to pray for? Anything? Oh, glory to God. Uh, let, let me just pray and lift her up before God. Father, I thank you for Lorraine Rogers. Lord, I decree and I declare over her life today, my God, in the name of Jesus. Yes, God, she will be a glory carrier. She will be a heaven shaker. I decree and I declare in this season of supernatural abundance, God, you will open that heaven over her. I decree and I declare, let there be an open heaven over this woman. My God, in the name of Jesus, I said that which the caterpillar and the palmer worm and those God that has come to oppress and eaten up that you have given to her, let it be restored to her a hundredfold. Lord, I decree and I declare now, let there be a thousand more. Bless a thousand more than you did for the fathers. Father, I speak life today in her circumstance. I speak life into her situation. I break every chain, every powers of darkness, every demonic interference that is seeking to interfere with your home. Ah, oh my God, we break the curse. Monday. And we decree and we declare, let there be a total renunciation of every powers of the enemy. And so I loose you, Lauren Rogers. I loose you to come into the woman and the, 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 the enzyme that God has designed for you to be in the earth. I say comfort in your power. Comfort in your destiny. Comfort in your strength. I decree now that there will be strength to give birth. There will be strength to give birth. 
in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, my God. I'm seeing you do it like Hezekiah. When Hezekiah received that report from King Sennacherib, it was an evil report. The Bible said that Hezekiah went up into the upper room and he, he read it. Mm -hmm. Yes. And he began to, to, to shred it because he knows that God has already taken care of every evil report. And so we thank God for your life, Lauren Rogers. God bless you. And because your faithfulness to God, God is going to reward you abundantly. Wow. I'm telling you, people of God. Woof. I feel that. I feel that. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I feel it. Thank you, Jesus. My God, my God, my God. I'm telling you, Pastor Jim, I'm telling you, I just see glory. I see glory all over you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I see God is, 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 I see God taking you higher. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God is taking you higher. Thank Hallelujah. And I'm so excited what God is about to do for you and your wife, Minister yes. Ruth Lynn Andrew. I'm telling you, people of God, they, they, they are a powerhouse team. They are a powerhouse team. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. My God. God bless you, Kimberly Bell. God bless you. You're indeed a wonderful woman of God. Your faithfulness, your, your desire, your passion is even going to be ignited in this season as never before. I'm seeing a greater hunger coming on you. I'm seeing a greater thirst coming on you. Yes, the Bible said, He that hunger and thirst of the righteousness shall be filled. And God is going to fill you up and He's going to cause you to overflow. And you yourself would not be able to contain it because you are accelerating. I'm seeing acceleration upon you. I'm seeing momentum is being built on you, Kim Libel. And so you just remain focused, remain, stay put in God, continue to, to go forth in the power and in the resurrection of Jesus Christ and watch God in this season in your life because it is a set season for Zion to be favored. And God is going to favor you without question. He's going to give you victory over every odds that come up against you in this season. He's going to cause you to triumph. I decree and I declare over your life, Kimberly Bell, that God is the author and the finisher of your faith. He said, tell me, he said, tell you that he is the alpha and the omega. Oh, Jesus. That which he has started in your life, Kimberly Bell. I guarantee you that God is able to finish. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. So keep your side of the bargain. Yes, God. Thank you. Hallelujah. And watch God in your life. You will live to testify of the goodness of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise Hallelujah. God. Oof. I'm telling you, people of God, this was our evening tree. We have a pastor, Jim Andrew, on the broadcast, a mighty man of God, a man of much faith. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Listen, people of God, if you would like to partner with Pastor Jim Andrew's ministry, if you would like to know more about it, um, Pastor Jim, can you give us your contact information? And then also, if you would like to sow into... Um, you know, his ministry, um, we have, um, I have posted his, uh, his, um, 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 PayPal link. PayPal link. Yes. Yes. I posted the PayPal link and stuff. And if you would like to just go and just support the man of God. Hallelujah. So I had the link up there. <laughs> Praise God. I don't know where it went though. Oh, wait, there you go. There you go. 
<laughs> Praise God. Amen. People of God, if you would like to support his ministry, have his PayPal link on the Great. comments. In the comments, you know, if you want to reach out to the man of God, um, Pastor Jim, how can the people reach out to you? Yes. Hallelujah. Woman of God, I'm excited because the Lord indeed told Minister Rufley and I it is an acceptable year of the Lord. And so many times we have to hold fast and run with that word. Amen. Um, for for our 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 ministry, our ministry goes by the name of Global Impact Christ Encounter Ministry. But you would see on the Facebook page Ruflin Andrew Ministries. Yes, so you can go into Facebook on the on the on the Facebook page Ruflin Andrew Ministries, and you will see everything concerning our ministry. We can also be reached on YouTube as Ruflin Andrew Ministry. Our first order service was posted on the YouTube channel. You're going to see the operation and the movement of the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. in the service. My God. And you can also share it. Let us make Jesus famous. Let us make the kingdom of God famous. Because the Bible said, who will give you your own except you'll be faithful over another man's? That's right. That's right. And that 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 is that is the principle that God laid down for us. And so it is because of 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 ministers Ruflin and I's faithfulness. And no woman of God you can endorse and attest to that. Yes. Because of the faithfulness. Amen. Yes. Amen. God has God has rewarded, and He's coming to even reward more in this season. Hallelujah. So we can be reached at uh, this two medium, Facebook and the YouTube. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. And amen. Listen, man of God, I, um, um, I was hoping that your wife could jump on with you to say hi to the people. Oh. So people can see her face and everything and stuff. Because I'm telling you, people of God, they are a power team in the ministry. Oof, yes, yes, I know she will be more than excited to do that. Just okay. give her five minutes. Okay, amen, amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Oh, God, you enjoyed him. You should, you're going to enjoy his wife. I love them. And I see the hand of God is in their life and in their yeah, ministry. And then, God, God, like I told you this morning, I see, I seen the walls bulging where the souls <laughs> Oh, yes. And I told your wife this afternoon, I said, woman of God, I said, y'all having service once a month. I said, no, y'all going to have to have it every week because the people oh, my God. Thursday, they are going to want to hear what God is speaking every week, every week. Amen. And I'm Amen. Telling you, man of God, you and your wife, y'all ain't seen nothing yet. Favor, oh, favor, glory. favor, favor, favor. Amen. Amen. Favor, and you know, favor, favor. And the prophet is going to know who you are. Amen. Amen. And you you just confirming so many things here, prophetess Robin. So much you're confirming. You yeah. just hitting the nail on the head. And that is that will only give Minister Rufin and I the greater impetus to push forward in God and watch God make us. Uh, 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 forced exactly. to be reckoned with in the Caribbean. And not only that, not and, only that don't worry about the finances. Don't yes. worry about the finances because God, God is making provision for you and your wife. The doors are open. People is going to just begin to sow into the ministry. They're going to come into ministry saying to you, what must I do? What can I do to help you? Hallelujah, glory to God and stuff. God is going to send the people to help y'all, to help y'all in the ministry. I'm telling you, I see it. I see it. See you it. know, and, minister and they're going to be faithful, faithful people to the ministry. You know, I, 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 God gave me a dream early this week where I saw Minister Ruthie and I as, as workmen in the ministry. I saw Minister Ruflin with envelopes filled with monies. I saw her hands were filled with monies. Mm -hmm. 
Look at it. Literally with monies. And so it is just a matter. My moon of God is just confirmation. It is. The and month you know, of September, that's going to be the month of September where God is going to blow his people minds. The month oh, of September yeah. is the new calendar year, the Hebrew calendar year, the year of yeah. 5782, the year of the awakening and also the voice of the sun. I'm telling you, there go to my powerful woman of woman God. Of God. Hi, God bless, woman of God, prophetess Robin, all the way from Philadelphia. How are you doing, woman of God? I'm doing fine, woman of God, woman of God. You know, I wanted the people to see you and your husband and everything. Oh. This is the powerhouse team right here. This is a powerhouse Amen. team, people of God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Um, Minister Ruth, would you like to um, say something to the people? Oh, yes. You know, like what's on my heart is that revival fire that is getting ready to burn across the nations, not only North America and South America, but in the Caribbean. It almost seemed as though we were forgotten, but God is saying this is the season for the island of the sea. I want to encourage somebody and let you know that you have not been forgotten. What you have been going to have been button pangs. Mm -hmm. My God, but you're ready to bring out that baby. My God, that has oh, been in your womb all oh, these years. Uh, your anointing is getting ready to be catapulted uh, to another dimension, to another place in the spirit, uh, to another level, to another plateau. Um, as Pastor Jim said earlier, it's no longer anchor deep anointing, uh, but an anointing, hallelujah, is coming like a river. You know, we were talking about that dam. Years ago, our parents used to go down to that river, prophet, to the Caribbean, as yeah. we know it as, to wash clothes. Uh, and the, the, the dam will come down ever so often and the dam will burst and we would hear the rumbling sound from a distance when you hear that sound you cannot remain otherwise that gush of water will go with you that's how the fire of God is getting ready to come I see people being touched in the parking lot Hallelujah. even as they're coming into the mm, churches Lord. as they leave home driving mm. there will be a rumbling and a shaking in the vehicles oh, my, my god, god. My god. Jeez. There's going to be a thunderous eruption yes. in the realms of the spirit uh, on the road. Hallelujah. And people will say, like the jailer, what must I do to be saved? My God. Was it Peter or Paul and Silas yes. that was incarcerated in that prison because of their praise and because of the word of the Lord and they were taken in prison uh, and because they went into that prison with the power of God upon their lives. Right. Yes. Even the jailer said, what must I do to be saved? And there was something else mm. inside of that prison, oh, their bonds were loose because of the praises. Mm, God is saying to somebody, don't stop praising. Yes, don't on. stop worshiping mm, because your victory is in your praises. Yes. Your victory yes. is in your worship. And as you begin to praise the Lord from the recesses of your being, from the innermost part of your being, that out of your belly will come a rumbling in the spirit and God will take that rumbling and do mm, something about God, it. God, because we know it is not by might and it's not by power, but by the spirit of the living God. Hallelujah. Every yes. mountain in your life yes. Yes. Uh, shall be removed. Yes. I say every problem in your yes. life is going to be eradicated yes. Yes. by yes. the spirit and the power of God. Yes. I said every storm cloud yes. is getting ready to roll away. Yes. Hey, you're a yes. You who have been broken, stop yes. by the potter's house. Yes. 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 You who need mending, stop by the potter's house. He promised to give you fragrance instead of your broken life. Come My friend, the shot. Father wants to put you back yes. together again. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. You see, prophetess, the clay is marred in the hands of the Father. Oh There's all kinds of effects and all kinds of circumstances yes. and situations. Yes. What causes over your lives? Generational causes, yes. ancestral demons, things you will have contracted from human spirits, sickness and disease and all kinds of things. But God God is saying, my God, uh, he will turn you around uh, for his glory. Pastor Jim had mentioned your set time has come. The man of God has mentioned... 
He has mentioned the season to favor you is here. Now you better believe beyond the shadow of a doubt is going to take place. Mm. My God, come on, somebody. I hear the one said the just mm. shall live by his faith. Yes. My God, what is faith? The substance of things are yes. formed, the evidence of things Hallelujah. not seen. You don't have to see how God is going to do that thing. Mm. All you got to do is believe. Right. And beyond the shadow of a doubt, right. he's going to work it out, not in your way and not in your time. Time, but in the time of the Lord yes. and that he will give you strength to wait he will give you the tenacity he will give you the grace he says to somebody now mm. my grace is sufficient my for God. you yes. and my strength yes. shall and is made perfect oh, in your witnesses he says let the weak say I am strong and let the poor say I am rich yes. because of not yourself because of what the Lord has done and is going to do right. in and through your life my God Amen. Hey, have a glory. Glory. Oh, oh, my. thank you I'm hallelujah Yes. There is a fire in the Jesus yes. so much. God, I'm telling you people Great God, God. These are Pastor Andrew and Minister Ruthlin. Andrew, I'm telling you, power team, a power team, a power team. I'm telling you, God is raising them up. I'm telling you, voices, <laughs> that, <laughs> voices that need to be heard. And God yeah. is bringing them forth. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to Glory. God. And people of God, they come on. Um, y'all do have a broadcast weekly, don't y'all? Or yes. 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 Can you tell the people um the days of y'all broadcast so that they can jump in on y'all broadcast? Right. So it's Sunday evenings at seven thirty p.m. Sunday evenings at 7.30 p.m. I, the Grenadian public knows. So you tune on to Ruthlyn Andrew or Ruthlyn Andrew Ministry and the Grenadian public know and the rest of the people that's accustomed to tuning on. And of course, we're inviting more people to come on to be touched and be blessed by the power and presence of Jesus because it's not about us. He just uses us as a, ve a vessel and a vehicle. It's all about Jesus and bringing glory to his name. I'm telling you, people of God, you don't want to miss their Sunday broadcast on their platform. I'm telling you, the spirit of the Lord will meet you there. Hallelujah. Yeah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Listen, Pastor Jim, Minister Ruth, I would like to say thank you for coming on Love to Life. Hallelujah. Online talk show. People of God, listen, the man of God came forth on here. The woman of God came forth as well. Listen, I have um, his PayPal information pinned up in the comment if you would like to sow into their ministry to support their ministry people of god sow sow into their life i'm telling you sow that seed sow that seed sow that seed to their ministry and you will see a great harvest behind your seed amen amen amen, amen. Listen, amen. i would like to say thanks again for everyone who chimed in I thank you, the Andrews. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God I bless you, you Monica. Coming on here, encouraging Amen. the people of God, speaking into their life. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. Listen, we're getting ready to end it, but would y'all like to say anything else before we said, tell the kingdom citizens good night? Well, may the Lord bless all of you and keep you. May yes. he continue to cause his face to shine upon you. May he lift up his countenance upon you and grant unto you peace. Hallelujah. Amen. Now and forevermore. And Hallelujah. may the Lord God of your fathers make you a thousand times so many more as he are and bless you as he has promised. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> I'm telling you, people of God, you can reach out to them on Facebook, messenger them if you want to connect with them personally. Amen, amen. Listen, I love everyone with the love of the Lord. And watch out, people, because we don't never know what day the pop-ups is going to pop up. Amen. Yes, amen. yes. Hallelujah. How in special gifts. They just going to pop up and come forth and just drop a nugget into our spirits. Amen. I love everyone. And I talk to everyone soon. Take the Lord with you. Amen. Toodles. God bless you, woman of God. Yeah.